Hello, <coughs> how are y'all? <coughs> Sorry, I still got that cough I can't get rid of. Um, I just got home from work and when I got home, I went outside and my zinnias, I love them. I love my zinnias. I've been having fresh cut flowers here on my island um, for a long time, but they're now starting to die back. We've been in such a drought and I have been just awful about watering them. So, um, I do want to, well, what I did is I went out and I picked some. I clipped them and then I popped the heads off of them and I just put them on a parchment sheet. No, we're not baking them. Um, I'm just going to let these air dry. Pop it over there on my kitchen table and just let them air dry. Um, several weeks and then we're going to harvest the seeds from them um, to plant next year. So I picked out my favorite varieties. My favorite of all of them, and I picked three of these, is this one. I love it. It's so pretty and when it's in full bloom, that middle is yellow. They are so pretty and then I like this pink one and um, I did get a yellow one. It wasn't my favorite but there's an ant on me probably from these flowers. Got a yellow one. This is a pale purple one. It already started turning colors but I got one of that and then the big purple one. Um, so, oh and then this little red one that has the yellow center. It's pretty too. So I just picked these. This will give me a lot of seeds um, for me to plant next year and that way I'll just have the colors that I like. So these will go over there and we will revisit in a couple, three weeks when these get completely dried out and we'll harvest the seeds and I'll show you how I do that. So just got home. I am going to um, get things ready and we're going to cook supper. Stick of butter. What we are going to do is make heart attack on a plate. Yes, this is not a figure friendly meal whatsoever, but oh, it's so good and comforting. And that is what I want after getting over this sickness. I want good, hot, cheesy, comforting food. And so what are we making? We're going to make a fettuccine alfredo lasagna, a white chicken lasagna, whatever you want to call it. I don't really have a recipe. I just do it. So we're going to start out. I got my big Dutch oven. I'm putting a stick of butter. And it's frozen is why it sounded like that. I am putting one block of cream cheese. And I am making enough for Chris and I to have for a couple of days and then I'm hoping that I'll get two, two freezer meals out of this too. So I've got a lot of ingredients but don't worry it's not for us to eat tonight. I mean just for us to eat because we are going to eat it and then I'm going to have some to pull out later on down the road. Okay so I have got butter cream cheese in here. We're going to go over here to the stove, get this melting, and we'll add our other ingredients to make our delicious cheesy sauce. All right, we're going to get this going. I want to get the cream cheese and the butter all melted. trying to find a spoon that I want. Alright, so this is going to take a minute, especially this butter being frozen. Um, and we will, I'll come back to you once this starts melting down and we'll add all of our other stuff. Alright, the butter's just about melted. And I'm going to put 32 ounces of heavy cream. <clears throat> I 
and then I'm going to fill this up with just some regular milk. I just do half. No, I'm gonna do the thing. I'm making a lot. Yeah. So 32 ounces of heavy cream and 32 ounces of milk i have whole milk you could you, you could use skim um if you want to because i have made this with skim milk before all right we're gonna bring this up i've got clumps of well clumps of cream cheese so we do want to make sure those get heated good and thoroughly so that they will mix into here good. I am going to add about a half of a tablespoon of socks and I've got some about peppercorns from Azure Standard and I put them in my blender and made fresh cracked black pepper. So I'm going to put that's about a teaspoon and a half. I love pepper with a creamy sauce, creamy cheesy sauce. But you don't, you, you put the pepper amount that y'all like. Oh, that smells heavenly. Now, I'm going to add garlic powder. I'm going to do one and a half tablespoons. Now, I'm going a little bit conservative on my seasonings um, until we get it, until it gets all cooked up, and then I'll do a taste test and see what we need to add, if anything. If I can get a, if I can catch a clump on the back of my spoon, I'm going to rub it on the side here, kind of break it up. All right, I'm going to sit here until this comes up to a good simmer and the cream cheese I can smooth out. I'm going to keep stirring it because the cream cheese a burn on the bottom. We'll be back when I'm at that stage. Okay. This is all heated through and smooth. So I'm going to add the cheeses. This is the cheeses that I shredded with y'all in the last video. This is Parmesan and yes there's some a little bit of yellow cheddar in there. And I'm doing that's Probably two cups. So two cups of parm. And about a cup of mozzarella. You can add um, Italian seasoning, oregano to this if you like. Um, my personal preference is I do not like Italian seasoning slash just oregano in my white sauces. I like them in my red sauces.
All right, I'm gonna let this cheese all melt. Uh oh, there's a clunk of cream cheese I missed. I'm gonna let this all melt together. Then I'm gonna do a taste test and see if I need more cheese, more salt, more pepper, more garlic. What do we need? It's another clump. I thought I had all the clumps out, but apparently I didn't. off of there. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Garlic's good. I may need a smidge, some more salt. You never know with the cheese content if it's gonna make it too salty or or work. Okay. Taste it again. Mmm, yes. doing a handful of parm and a handful of mozzarella and then I think that'll be perfect okay and to this We are going to add some spinach. This is this baby spinach that I have washed in my salad spinner. And this will wilt down a lot. If you're not a spinach person, don't add it. But to me, it kind of like uh, makes this healthy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It cancels out all the fat in the heavy cream and in the cheeses. Okay, I'm going to turn the eye off. I don't want it because the, the cheeses will burn on the bottom and I don't want to sit here and babysit it while we do other stuff. And really, it's ready. As it sits in this hot liquid, this spinach will wilt down even more. I'm going to take it off the eye. And I'm going to get that piece of cheese before it burns on there. And then we're going to come back over here to the other side. Okay, and let me give you another variation on this. Um, I'm not making it with ricotta cheese or cottage cheese. You know, like you normally would do a classic lasagna. Um, <clears throat> but you can do that. You can do a layer of your ricotta cheese and an egg. Um, you can even do ricotta cheese and um, put some pesto and mix that up in it, you know, and not do the spinach. Um, but you can do a ricotta cheese layer in this. However, I'm not. 
and I can't tell you why I won. I don't have any of that to use, but I could have gone by the store and got some. Um, I just, I just don't. I think it would be good in it, but I just don't. Um, all right, we're going to get ready to assemble. A couple days ago, two days ago, I had um, cooked up some chicken breast. I just seasoned them real good and cooked them in a, on a skillet on top of my stove. Um, and then I let them cool and I kind of just chunked them up. So that's going to be the chicken that goes into this. And I've got, I've got this dish that we're going to make for tonight and tomorrow. And then I've got two little smaller dishes um, to put in the freezer. I may have enough that I can do another one too, which would be great. So, I'm going to get everything ready to assemble, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now then, this is a loose sauce. It's not really thick. And one is because it's popping hot. You know, as it cools off, it will get thicker. But I also want it to be a little bit looser because I'm going to be using these oven-ready lasagna noodles that you don't have to boil. So, it does need a little extra juiciness to it to get these cooked in the oven. I've not ever used these before. Well, I'm, I'm lying. I did a long time ago. I think when they first came out. Um, I did. But, <clears throat> not any time recently. So, we're going to start out and get a good dipping spoon. I'll do my ladle. We're going to start out. We're going to put some of this mixture in the bottom of each one. Just so noodles don't stick. And here I am. I'm making a mess. We're going to add chicken. I'm going to kind of break up some of these bigger pieces. You can add the chicken right into the um, sauce, but I, I like to keep it separate so I can get an even amount in each layer. <clears throat> Cheese is over here too. And I'm going to do a layer of mozzarella. My best friend's husband loves my fettuccine alfredo. I make him make it for him a lot, and I bet he would love this. I haven't ever made this for him. Okay, and then an up 
another layer of chicken. But you get you you get what I'm putting down, don't you? How to do this? But we'll finish this one, and then I won't make you wait through the other two in one day. Just a little bit more. Then we're going to top it with mozzarella. And then a little parm on top too. Set it to the side. I'm going to do these other two and I'll be back. Okay, so got them done. You down so you can see. Got three of them. This one that we're going to have tonight, I wasn't able to do as many layers because I ran out of my sauce. But I really think that this would probably be enough for one, like eight, um, nine by 12 pan and then one small one. Um, yeah, if you wanted to do it that way and have one for the freezer and or day by ten for the whichever one you wanted to put in the freezer. But when these cool off, I'll put saran wrap over them and then aluminum foil, right what they are. Put them in the freezer. We're having this one tonight. I, it's a little early, but I will bake this at 350 degrees until the cheese is all melty, bubbly, and, and getting kind of brown. And I've got a salad mix that I had picked up, and we will have salad in this tonight. So I'll bring you back when I, after I have cooked it. I've got water running in my pot back there, um, if you hear that. But I'll bring you back uh, after I cook it up and let you see what it looks like. You want to do a taste test and all that fun stuff. So I'll be back. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It looks delicious. Okay, this salad is this kit I had got from um, Aldi's. It's called Apple Bourbon. It's got apples and smoked gouda, carrots, red cabbage, um, bacon bits, and golden honey almonds, which tastes like a um, honey roasted peanut almond with maple bourbon vinaigrette. That. It's good. Not my favorite dressing. I probably would have just put ranch on there, but it's okay. Um, <clears throat> but there we go. There we go. It's cooked perfectly. Mm. Delicious comfort, cheesy, mm, so good. So, guys, thanks for joining me again, and um, I will see y'all next time. I hope you make this. I'll put the recipe how I made this. Um, you may want to half it if you're going to do just one like um, nine by twelve pan. So. Again, thanks for being here. I will see you next time. Don't forget, hit subscribe, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.